In this video, we're going to take a look at the um, Excel function uh, called OR. OR is a logical function. Um, it's frequently used with the IF function to make a decision about what value to put in a cell. And uh, we've got a little sample spreadsheet here we're going to take a look at. We've got some student names over here. We have a homework score for each one. We have a final test score for each one. And we want to figure out if the student passed or failed the class. And uh, this is the exact same example that uh, we looked at in the AND video. But uh, this time we're going to look at it uh, a little bit differently. Um, we were looking at it, at it in the previous video from the standpoint of figuring out whether they passed the course. And to pass the course, they had to pass this and they had to pass this. Now we're going to kind of turn it around and look at it from the other direction. Um, what is uh, required to fail the course? And uh, a student will fail the course if either one of these is true. If the homework is less than the minimum homework or if the final test is less than the minimum test. So if they fail either one, uh, they fail the course, which is the same as saying that they have to pass both to pass the course. But we're just kind of coming at it from a different direction this time. So um, we're going to fail the student if one if this condition is true that they failed the homework or if the condition is true that they failed the final test. So again we're going to kind of cheat a little bit and uh, actually it's not cheating it's being smart. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of columns over here on the right uh, that will help us break the problem down into pieces and then we can put them all together when we want to compute what the final grade was. So what I want here is a logical test that tells me if they failed the homework. Uh, if they failed the homework, I want the value true to appear here. Otherwise, I want the value false to appear here. So they failed the homework if uh, the homework score is less than the minimum. And that's an absolute cell reference because I'm going to copy it. So that needs to be have the dollar signs in there. Okay. And it uh, looks like we got a little bit of formatting uh, we could fix here. Let's uh, make this the same as the rest. Let's make it Verdana and let's make it 10 like the other ones. Okay. So, um, did George fail the homework? No. So the value false is here. He had an 80. Uh, to fail, it would have had to have been less than 70. Now let's check to see if George failed the test. Well, George failed the test. Uh, the formula is going to be, uh, the logical test is going to be if his test score was less than uh, the minimum test score and that's going to be an absolute cell reference again so I need to put in the dollar signs and hit enter and now I want to know did he fail either one in other words was the value true here or was the value true here and uh, so when you see the word either or the word or um, that usually means you're going to be using the logical function called or and so go to your formulas tab uh, go to the function books here and click on the purple one with the question mark for logical functions and choose OR. And again, just like with the AND function, we get a dialog box that comes here asking for the arguments to the OR function. And the arguments are going to be these two values right here. So first one is just going to be I2, tab down. The second one is going to be J2. And uh, it, like the AND function, it opens up room for another one, but you just stop when you get all the ones typed in that you need and it tells me the result of this is false. Okay, um, It's false because this logical test is false and this logical test is false. Uh, if either one of these was true, then the formula result would be true. So let's click on OK here and it tells me that George did not fail either one. Now I'm going to take all three of these, get my fill handle and drag it down. And now let's, let's look at what's going on here. Uh, these two people failed or did not fail the homework, but these two did. Um, these two people did not fail the test, but these two did. So true means they failed, false means they did not fail. And then I want to know, did they fail either one here? Okay. And so this one looks at columns I and J. They're both false, so this is false. Um, this one is an OR function that looks at these two cells. And uh, if either one of them is true, 
I'll get the value true. And this one is true, therefore the result of the function is true. Same thing here. This one is true, so the result of the function is true. Uh, same thing here. If either one of them is true, in this case both of them are true, uh, the value of the function is true. So false means pass, true means fail. It's exactly the opposite of the way we did with the AND function. Uh, and the reason is because we're just kind of coming at it from a different point of view. So what I need to do is I need to change each one of these to the letter P or the letter F. If false is here, I want the letter P. And if true is here, I want the letter F. So we need to use an IF function again. So let's go here and use IF. And now my logical test is going to be here. And if that is true, it means the person failed the class, so I want the letter F. And when I tab out of here, um, the quotation marks appear. If the value is false, it means they passed the class. And when I tab out of here, the quotation marks appear, appear again. My formula result is P, meaning that George passed. Click on OK, and it tells me that George passed. Get my fill handle and drag it down, and all of the other three people failed because they failed either the homework or the test. So that's how you use the, um, the OR function um, with two logical tests. You can use it with as many as you want to, but in real life you're probably only going to use it with maybe three or four uh, logical tests at the most. Uh, again, uh, if you wanted to write this out uh, after you've gotten comfortable with doing some of the functions in Excel, uh, we could delete this. And we could have just written it all out as one big formula. Um, it's easy to get make a mistake when you do this. So my logical test is OR, and I want to know if uh, I2 is true or J2. Actually, let's do the whole thing. I want, won't use those. Uh, what I had in I2 was I want to know if uh, B2 was less than dollar sign $F, dollar sign $2, or if C2 was less than dollar sign $G, dollar sign $2. So that's my OR function. Um, two logical tests are the arguments. And uh, if you look down here at the little box for the if statement, it tells me I'm working on the logical test right now. As soon as I type a comma, then I'm putting in the value if that logical test is true. And if that logical test is true, then they failed. So I'm going to put F. And again, you have to put quotation marks. Otherwise, it thinks there's a function called F. And if the value is false, I want to put the letter P in the cell and then close that off and then hit Enter and um, get that and copy it all the way down. And we get exactly the same thing that we had before. Um, we just kind of did it all in one big formula instead of breaking it down into smaller pieces. Either way works. Uh, it's up to you. If you're learning, this is probably the best way to do it. Once you're used to doing this stuff, uh, you can just sit down and type it in like that if you want to.